Hey, this is Rick Casalage, injury specialist from exercisesforinjuries.com. In today's video, I wanted to go through how to squat without knee pain. And we need to do, we kind of need to kind of focus on going back and looking at tweaking the technique that you end up doing with the squat in order to overcome that knee pain. So let me go through some key points when it relates to squatting. So Jenna's gonna demonstrate it. So the first ends up being, you know, looking at your feet. When it comes to the squatting, go a little bit further out with your feet. So a lot of people will end up going too narrow, so they'll almost go like underneath their hips. You need to end up going wider, so outside of your hips, when it comes to that squatting technique. And that little wider stance makes you more stable and then also ends up putting, also ends up leading the hips, end up doing more of the work when it comes to going through the squat movement. Next thing ends up being towing out a little bit. So it's not drastically bringing the toes out, but instead of like forcing them straight ahead, having them towed out a little bit, that ends up helping you balance things uh, out when you end up going through that squat movement. The next thing is where you end up putting your weight. So a lot of times people end up putting more of their weight on the balls of their foot, and that ends up putting more stress on the knee, especially the patella or the kneecap pressing up against that knee joint when you put more load on the front of your foot. You want it more on the midfoot or even onto the heel is where you want that load to happen in order to have the squat be pain free. Other things that we're looking at is we want to focus it on it being a glute exercise and not a knee exercise. And this ends up being the same thing. If more of your weight is forward, you're going to work on the quads doing the, the work and getting you out of that bottom position. But what you want is the glutes to do more of the work or the hamstrings to do more of the work and get you out of that bottom position. So from the bottom position back to that top position. Other things that we want to look at is we want that shin to try to be as vertical as possible. Perfect, and I'll get you to face this way. Now, if you bring the knees forward too much, that ends up changing the angle of, of the shin, and that ends up putting a lot more stress on the knee. Now, if you can try to keep it as vertical as you can, there you go, that ends up putting less stress on that knee and decreases the, the likelihood of knee pain when squatting. Other thing we want to end up looking at is the proper sequence. So some people will end up leading with the knees and following with the hips. <laughs> so Jenna even has a difficult time doing that. But what we want to do is lead with the hips and then follow with the knees. So we want it to try to be a hip exercise more than a knee exercise. And then lastly, we, we don't want the knees to collapse in. So, go, so yeah, there you go. So we, we don't want them to collapse inwards when, there you go. So we, when you're, you're loaded up or you're fatigued, when those knees end up collapsing in, we end up having more stress put on that knee joint. So we, we want to try to have the knees pass over the foot, the, f the foot as opposed to collapsing in because that collapsing will end up leading to more stress on the knee. So a lot of technique things to consider and think about when it comes to squatting without knee pain. And there ends up being, what do we got, eight things that you got to look at when it comes to squatting correctly. And you, you'll, might, you, I would start off just like as Jenna has done, you know, with no weight, just getting through all those eight little points in order to squat uh, pain free. And then you can end up going to a load. And we'll go to a load here and comment on a couple things when it comes to the front squat. So a common, you know, we end up having like the back squat and the front squat and a body weight squat. Most, a lot of times people end up having knee pain when they end up doing the front squat. So Jenna's gonna go through the front squat and we're gonna go through a couple things when it relates to, uh, you know, keeping that front squat pain free. So Jenna, Jenna's just going to go through a front squat. So you can see that she's going through a little bit wider, toes out, that right sequence, bringing the hips back, knees not passing forward, trying to keep that shin vertical. Okay, good. Want it to be more of a glute exercise than a knee exercise, weights back on the midfoot and the heel. 
good, perfect. Other things that we want to look at if you end up having knee pain from the front squat, it ends up, what we want to look at is the depth. So I'll just get you to do a, a body weight squat, just facing that way. So the deeper that one ends up going, the more stress gets put on that knee joint. So what we can end up doing is for a period of time, you can decrease the depth that you end up going in that front squat and coming back up. And that'll put less stress on the knee, allow the knee to recover and heal um, if there ends up being knee pain. So you can do that for a temporary period of time. Another thing that ends up happening is with the front squat is people will end up putting more weight on the front of the foot, so the toes and the ball of the foot. And as we talked about, that ends up leading to more knee pain, more stress on that kneecap, and that kneecap pressing up against the knee joint. So we want that weight on that midfoot and more on that heel. And we don't want that, the knees to pass the toes. Good, we want, to try, we want to try to keep the knees back, and the knees back is really working on that mid, weight on the midfoot or on that heel. And then the last thing is the, is the torso position. So we want to have more of a vertical torso as opposed to uh, a more of a lean forward uh, torso. Because as you end up leaning more forward, that ends up putting more weight on the balls of the feet, leading to more stress on the knee. So there you go, that ends up being a lot of things that you need to think about and consider when it comes to you know, how to squat uh, um, you know, without knee pain. So there's a lot to kind of consume in this video. So make sure you go through it a couple times and try it out without weight and then you can add the weight and try those techniques and tweaks and see if it ends up improving your knee pain when squatting. Now, if you end up having knee pain, you want some of my best tips and tricks when it relates to knee pain, then I recommend you click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Knee Pain and Tightness. Just click right here, let me know where to send the report, and I'll send you the report right away. Now, if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet, smartphone, head down below into the description and click the first link, which will end up being exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash knees. Let me know where to send that report and I'll send you that report right away. If you got benefit from this video, make sure you like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the comment section. And then lastly, hit subscribe if you want future pain relieving videos. <laughs>